Hey everybody, it's Devin with Cognito Moto, and today we'll be mounting a headlight, making a seat, and mounting the rear sets. So here I'm just using a piece of cardboard to outline the shape of the frame. That way I can cut the cardboard out and then lay it over the sheet metal, just so it's a little easier than trying to bend the sheet metal and create that shape. So for the seat pan base, we're using a piece of 80 thousandths thick aluminum. It's a little too thick for me to bend here, so our friends over at Metal Supermarket were kind enough to help us out. Because it's going to be a bolster, right? So yeah, I mean, I'm barely putting weight on it yeah. to get it there. That's good. All right. How is it? So here I'm drilling a pilot hole through the seat pan and through the pan on the frame. We've clamped the two together so we can keep them aligned and these will be used for screws to mount the seat pan to the frame. So the foam we're using here is a, a dense foam. Um, it's similar to carpet foam, uh, but you can get it in uh, two inch thickness. And we're using some 3M uh, adhesive to adhere it to the aluminum pan.
to mount the seat, we're using rivet nuts. And we'll run a screw up from the bottom and then pull the seat down to the frame. Well, just being that young. Oh, so, yeah. They're just starting out, you know? So here I'm installing a LED projector into our headlight housing. So here are the uh, Motodemic headlight brackets that we'll be using. Um, Motodemic makes a two-piece bracket, makes it kind of nice for when you don't want to take the triple tree off. You can just take the two, slip them together, and then it takes a screw here. And these are offered in multiple sizes. Uh, for this, I think it's a 56 millimeter top and bottom, which made it pretty easy. When we first mounted this headlight, uh, we just took the brackets off another bike. But this is a super short bracket that Motodemic offers, and we wanted to push the headlight further into the fork, kind of get a, a snub nose kind of look, so we called it Motodemic, and he made us a, a super short bracket. Um, and I think he'll start producing these. These are good for larger offsets when you're doing a triple tree swap because it's pushing the forks further away, so we want to move the headlight closer to the bike. So this gets the headlight bucket. The back of the headlight bucket is going to be probably about that close to the frame, um, whereas with this one, it's a little bigger, we're probably about there. So now we can move the headlight a little more in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install these now.
look badass in there. Weird sets. Rear sets. So we've made some rear set brackets. Um, they're not necessarily rear set brackets. We're not moving the the foot pegs much further back from where they were originally. Um, the reason for these is that we have the disc brake on the rear, and so we needed a place to mount and actuate the brake master cylinder. And this is from a 2006 up GSXR 600. Uh, it's typically what we use on our rear set kits. Uh, they seem to work well and readily available. So on the original foot peg, you've got these grooves that lock into the frame. So that's what, what we have here. And then on this side, we have the master cylinder mount and then a hole for the rear sets. So I'll go ahead and put this one together. Here we're mounting our universal rear sets. I have a fixed peg. Um, these are some ones that were off colored by plating, so if I mess them up, it won't, won't really matter. So here we've mounted the brake master cylinder and the rear set to the mounting bracket. On the back side here, we've got two adjustment screws. Uh, you want the brake master cylinder to be 90 to the, to the lever best you can, and that way you get a nice even push when it's actuated. All right, so here on the frame, you've got the grooves cut out that match the grooves in the back of the rear set bracket. We put the carb in place just to make sure that we're not going to hit uh, with the brake master. It is pretty tight but we're still okay. And then once you put the screw here, uh, locks everything down, keeps it from rotating. So since it has the teeth, this thing is indexable. Um, I think it's probably every five degrees. You can lock it back down. For me, I'm gonna want it further down, as far down as I can go, really. And that'll keep me pretty close to where it was stock, which I'm good with. Um, the next thing we're gonna have to do, or what we'll have to do before we disassemble the bike, is take a piece of cord, cable, string, and run it to the brake line or to the brake caliper from the brake master and that'll give us the length that we need so that we can go ahead and get that ordered and i think that's good the only other thing that we're going to have to do is uh, mount a brake master reservoir so here's the original shifter we need to remove it you take the nut loose here and then you have to tap this out but Right now, we, we can't get any leverage on it, or we can't get the clearance to take a hammer to it, so it's going to have to wait until we get the motor out. Here's the brackets for the shifter. Just like the brake side, has the same grooves so it can index. So once we get the shifter arm off, uh, we picked up this guy from Boxer Metal and we'll mount it here and then create a little linkage back to the rear set. Thanks for watching and check in next week for another update.